I wonder which character he's going to pick in this particular match. Because Kinetic Clash, I believe, using Ivy, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Kinetic Clash is pretty much just, just all, all Ivy all the time. You know, uh, so one, of the, one of the interesting things about how many Ivies there are in America is, surprisingly, they all play just differently enough that, um, you know, sure, sure, you can... You can put regular IV matchup knowledge versus each person because that's just kind of the bare minimum. Yep. But they play just differently enough that you can, s you, you really have to start playing to the player to a point. Sure. Uh, Kinetic Clash in particular, one of his strongest suits is I feel like he understands the ring out game with IV better than most other IV. Right. Um, his, his up close game is a little bit different, uh, but the, his ability to put you into ring out situations is, I, I feel like, phenomenal. Well, this match is about to go underway. Let's see who is going to move on. This is winner side action. One of these two players will be in nice position here to move onwards. All right, starting it off here, and it's it going to be Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, he, he's got so many strong results with Sophie at this point. You know, he's, he's got second uh, to only Sane at uh, Kumite, right? So this is obviously a, a character matchup that he studied. Okay, there's the GR right there, and oh. then the post. Yeah, I can. This is going to be big, too. He gets the shoulder, the follow-up. Let's see what kind of wake up. And he is pushing him towards the edge of the ring. Kind is that out? Forward. Is that out? No, I think it's a little bit too far. Yeah. Oh, it's just, just short of it. Oh, not catching the roll. He just delayed his wake up just a little bit. He's able to get the stun right there. And, but, I mean, Kinetic is fighting on his last leg, so that's why you see him backing up. He's trying to put himself in an advantageous position where he could possibly reverse a ring oh, out. That There's was big. the 9B, and, and that's going to do it. it. Oh, my gosh. See? It, it His like knowledge of <sighs> making someone ring themselves out is insane. Okay, there's the GI. Went for it there, just short of it. Uh oh, oh this is big. Hit on that, so. Look at that, all that damage already early on gets a follow up here. Uh oh. Yeah, jumping so you avoid the floor right there, but okay. Simple Kai finding back a lot up close. He's gonna be able to block this just fine. And there's the punish. Not a full task speed, but you know. Okay, got the launch. Wasn't ready for it, though. I mean, I, I don't know many people who would be ready for that on the fly. Yeah, he gets a follow-up here with the combo. Let's see what he does. Gets the pressure there. Yeah, no just frame, so it's not plus, And he should... I, I believe that's death. I, I, I see no reason why it wouldn't. Yeah, and that that's smart. I mean, you got to be able to use it. You use it or lose it, right? That's the thing, is especially in a situation where you could close out the round. Yeah, well... I, I, I definitely don't... Yeah, I cannot afford to lose, right? Yeah. <laughs> Selfie said it for me. Tied up on rounds here. A lot of meter coming in for Kinetic Clash. Let's see, does he break the secondary throw? And you got to remember, too, this is a big round. Once a player gets to their potential final round, they gain a full stock of meter. Mm -hmm. So that's something that players have to be aware about. A lot, a really good job of poking Kinetic Clash out. Finally gets the throw right there, oh. and that's just going to do it for that round. Match point here for Zephyr Kai. Yeah. He's got a good amount of meter to work with, too. Sure, Kinetic Clash just got his bar, but he can use his full charge offensively if he so chooses, or if he feels threatened, you know, defensively. Oh, he tried to keep him, but the step, able to get that launch. The follow up here. Yeah. Oh, he got him again. Zephyr Kai's step game is so strong. There's the soul charge from Kinetic to be able to push him back. Nice. The follow up here, and just that pressure right now. Kinetic Clash fighting That's back. True. That's a combo. Oh, yeah, and it does so much damage. You think there'd be some scaling, but you know. Yeah, they ran out of scaling. <laughs> they ran out. There we go. Oh, nice oh, catch. Oh, that's dead. Caught it. That Delayed is Delayed on the wake up by rolling. Wake up with the CE. Gonna finish it off first game, Zephyr Kai. Yeah. Good read there and good reactions, actually. Able to pull it out and Zephyr Kai up now. Kinetic Clash is gonna have to rethink some of his approach there. Yeah, he was definitely catching him with a lot of steps and then like repoke, right? Like Zephyr Kai was he would he would step, wait, Kinetic would then press yeah. the button, get caught out. And that that was a lot of Zephyr Kai's damage. Uh obviously he you know he hit him with a couple of two two Bs and things like that, but the angel step. Yeah, his ability to get in and then just start sidestepping to create more opportunities for himself. We've seen it time and again, at least in this matchup already. Getting key pokes, getting side throws, oh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is big. This is huge. Right Ouch. Okay, one more. Oh, caught him rolling right there. Yeah, 1A series on the tech roll. 1A, 1A, 1A. Okay, and, you know, we were talking about the way that uh, Zephyr Kai was getting a lot of damage by stepping and then poking. Yeah. Uh, you saw that the Kinetic changed up his game plan in Tonic. Uh, to match that, and right back at you, Zephyr Kai is playing a bit differently. He's way more aggressive right now, rather than stepping in and pressing a button. Yeah, he's he just is going just forward. mauling it. He's just that going. might be it. You said it. 
right before we got in here, his presence of mind for the ring out game. Look at that kinetic clash, oh. two rounds straight now. He just knows. It's like he at fell into times. the trap. He fell into it. Because, man, we were just talking about Zephyr guy was getting inside. He was going in. He was taking a beating. He was actually just getting all Yeah. Off. Show me your power. All right. Now, bad position. He's going to have to be careful here. Does not want to get ring out again. Yeah. Taking a lot of shit damage right there, though. Okay. No plus frames on that, but the soul charge gets come out. You know, he's at the ledge. It is a bit scary. Nice. Oh, oh big man. hit, though. He's all of a sudden. Attacking. I guess he was looking for the low on our, um, Yeah. Might have thought he was going for maybe the two, command two grab there. Yeah. Two A plus G. I but feel like that's what he, I mean, yeah, I feel like that's what he was probably scouting. But still, gets the big hit there. Man, that was huge. One to one, and we're already back in it. Same stage and everything. Tasky's not going to be able to do the punch on that one. I don't know, man. Maybe he's Good. a bit impatient. Do you think this is the right stage that he wants to battle out? It's already been proven that there were so many ring outs that last match. Well, I mean, you know, there, there, there would be other stages where ring outs would be entirely more prevalent, yeah. to be quite honest with you, and a lot easier for Ivy to get to. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you want to put it into the luck of the draw, right? Maybe. I, oh I my don't know, gosh. but he was able to just get away from that. The reversal edge comes out, though, 50-50 time, and it's we the horizontal. Him. All right, let's see if he's going to continue that pressure. Catches up with the 6 But it was just a bit off axis, but I, uh, unable to continue and get shoulder tech several times. Yeah. You hate to see that kind of scramble where, you know, things just fall apart. Yeah, Christmas tree's coming out. Oh, oh my god, caught it. Did you see the range of that? Oh, nice delay on that. Full charge on the kick. Big right, ducks nice. under it. He's been ducking quite a few of those throws. Going to get the CE damage off this as well. Wants to put himself in the most advantageous position possible to put himself two rounds up if he can. Let's see what he doesn't wake up though. That's the question here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, command grab. That's going to do it. Wake up. Wow. Kinetic Clash one round away from moving on on the winner's side. Zephyrkai now having pretty much full meter. There it is. Yeah, I can't blame Zephyrkai for not being ready for that because that was actually the first time he went for it, but that was already safe. Yeah, that was sick. He was able to evade there, get some damage out of it, and look at this. Putting the pressure on, but Kinetic Clash pushing back. GI. He's not going to take the advantage right now. Zephyrkai still And they're stacking continuing. up. He's trying to goad him into the reverse ring out situation. Don't like fall last for time, it. Right? He's got the life lead. Will he keep pressing? Oh, man. He is sneaky. He's doing something. There's the AA series. Is He's looking at it. Yeah, Zephyrkai is being incredibly patient on that. I think he's recognized that he's trying to be yeah, as aggressive as possible while also, also making Kinetic think that he's goading him. Doing a great job of that, and that got him around, in my opinion. He's got two bars up right now. Got the throw. So here he is, at the edge of the ring. Oh, that would have been big, too, if he had landed that clean. The GI is missed, but no punish on that. They're stepping, trying to get each other away from their own uh, yeah. poor situations. There's the lethal. It's Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's a weird situation on that one. I'm not too sure. Yeah, unable to get anything beady out of it. But let's see what he does here. He does have the soul charge at the ready. Oh, GI, excellent. Pre no, oh, that was clutch gonna get the CE here. Yeah, just wants to get the kill. Push it to a final round here, and this is where it's gonna count. This and, is the final round. And he's gonna have the same amount of meter that Kinetic is going into it, so it was such a strong use of bar to finish it out. This is it. One to one. Final game, final round. It's a bit back and forth between these two. This time getting a throw. Let's see if he's gonna continue that aggression that we saw in prior rounds. Any throw that hasn't been ducked by Kinetic has pretty much not been tacked, I've noticed. That's the thing. He's in the danger zone right now, so you got to be careful. You don't want to duck, or you don't want to throw out the throw errantly and then just get rung out for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, that's why he's going to keep running towards the ledge on these options, right? The soul charge. Yeah. It's going to give him many things, but okay. Everybody's favorite throw. Now what's he going to do here? Okay. He has a good chance. Oh, but you can never count on Kinetic Clash. Oh, he went for oh, the jump there. back again. Oh, oh he got, he got the he might be dead. Actually He's be done. There oh. it is, and Kinetic getting it with the 9B. He's done that to him twice in the matchup, both in crucial rounds. I think it was three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It's like I, we saw it happen in slow motion. Well, it was interesting, though, because uh, Zephukai was specifically trying to make uh, Kinetic think that that was the proper way to go, right? And so he actually avoided the first hit of it, but then walked into the second, unfortunately. That gave the ground bounce, and that paved the way. Jeez. What a set. I mean, back and forth, you couldn't have gone any closer than that. But unfortunately for Zephyrkai, he's now going to go into the loser bracket where he's going to have quite the challenge ahead of him.